The question this week is from Paige, and Paige lives in Baxter, Minnesota. And she said, hi, Julie, longtime listener here, reaching out from snowy Minnesota. I love listening to your podcast and would appreciate your insight. I'm struggling at my current job and no longer feel like a vibrational match for the work I do. I feel stuck. I know that I can go out and find an alternate alternative career to make money, but at this point, I'm truly looking for something that brings me fulfillment and joy rather than just a paycheck. I'm currently working for a real estate agency doing things such as marketing and agent training, along with a bunch of miscellaneous tasks. I've been doing my best to stay positive and be open to new opportunities, but nothing has quite piqued my curiosity. My gut tells me it's in my best interest to leave my current position at this agency. She does listen to my show because I always I always say to ask Spirit, preface it with, is it in my best interest to dot, 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 finish the sentence. She went on to say, would you or my guides have any advice for me in this instance? Thank you and much love. Paige. So here are my here's my response. Hi, Paige. Thanks for your kind comments and for listening to my show. If you were a trust fund baby and you had more money than you could ever spend in a lifetime, wouldn't that be fun to try that out? What would you do for fun? Would you travel, start some type of philanthropy, or become a champion rock climber? The first thoughts that enter your mind will be a clue from spirit. And I put in parentheses, God, your spirit guides, angels, deceased loved ones, etc., for how to proceed. Every day, we humans receive lots of spiritual guidance in the form of thoughts. Some thoughts feel bad or don't make sense to us, while others feel neutral or good. Thoughts that feel good are called intuition and are ideas slash guidance from spirit. Most intuitive thoughts go unheeded. We think them, and then we either just let them go, intending to address them later, Or we immediately think of why we can't act on them. For example, say you get a thought to visit Rome and you immediately think of all the reasons why you can't go. You don't speak Italian. You don't know anybody in Rome. You don't have the money to pay for a plane ticket, hotel, and meals. And you don't have anybody to go with you. You get the idea. You know, when we get an idea of something that we want, we immediately go into why it's not going to happen because we immediately go into fear. So that's what most of us do. So I went on to say, to help you manifest your new career, pay attention to what interests and excites you. What do you want to learn more about? Then take a step in the direction of your interest. It may be as simple as visiting a website, reading a book, watching a YouTube video on this subject. Any of those are a step in the right direction. You'll be led to the next step and the one after that and so on. Trust everything is unfolding perfectly in the most optimal way and time. Expect the people and circumstances to show up right when you need them, and they will. Stay focused on what you want, not how you'll get it. When we allow, our wishes can materialize in sometimes magical ways. When we try to control how or when something can or will happen, we block experiences that can be even better than what we'd imagined. Pablo Picasso said, inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. I agree. The most important part of creating anything, including an amazing career for yourself, is to take action. Follow your interests and be open to where your journey leads you. P.S. Stay at your current job until you have another source of income to take its place. So Paige, that's advice from The spirits and beyond, that's my son Jonathan used to call, woo-woo. He'd say, Mommy, talk to the spirits and beyond. So that's advice from the spirits and beyond, and a lot of me in there too, because been doing this job thing for a long time. So I hope that helps.